If you need unlimited domination, clutch time, or anything else grinded, make sure you hit up Rose NBA on Twitter for quick, safe, and reliable grinding services. Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Takeover Corey Maggetti. And this Corey Maggetti card actually looks pretty solid. It looks like a very, very solid takeover card at the shooting guard position. He's got pretty good size at six foot six, and he's also got a pretty darn easy grind to complete. So, shout out to my boy Many Coach for letting me hop on his account to record this video and uh, get this Corey Maggetti gameplay. As y'all can see, the Corey Maggetti takeover grind is honestly quite easy. Uh, literally, just gotta get 39 points to small forward 19 points with clippers players in a game sorry rebounds with clippers players in a game six steals 50 points in the paint five triple threat triple threat offline games using warriors players and then three games one using 10 clippers players and you can complete all this stuff i mean really in probably about an hour maybe even a little bit less will not take long to complete this cory mcgetty guy and he looks like a pretty darn solid card before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 8,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day i would really appreciate your support if you haven't already if you do subscribe Without further ado, let's hop right into it and see what Corey's looking like. So, 6'6", shooting guard, 95 offense, 94 defense, coming with a 89 driving lamp, 88 close shot midi and three ball, a 90 driving dunk, 88 ball handle, 75 block, 82 interior, 84 steal, 88 perimeter. Constitutes pretty solid defensive uh, stats. Also, 90 speed and excel, 86 speed of ball, and a 90 lateral quickness, or 89 lateral quickness as well. Is pretty darn solid. So, overall, stats all the way around are pretty good. He's also got Hoff Bully, corner specialist, off ball pest, and brick wall. Gold badges like fast twitch, limitless takeoff, masher, post stretch slithery catch and shoot claymore uh guard up limitless range on gold which is really really nice a lot of guys don't have that badge still uh bailout clamp breaker killer combos quick first step unpluckable angle braces challenger chase down artist clamps menace pick dodger pogo stick and workhorse as well as silver slippery off ball handles for today's hyper drive interceptor post lockdown and bronze ankle breaker so overall a pretty solid all-around card a lot of good badges you can upgrade a few of his silver badges as well as bronze ankle breaker and you can up give him badges like rise up blinders dimer um um, maybe a vice skip or rebound chaser, things like that. Doesn't really need a lot of key badges though. Comes pretty darn complete even as a base card. I'm not really expecting huge things out of Corey Maggetti by any means. I mean, I don't expect him to be this absolute beast at the shooting guard position. I don't expect him to be one of the best shooting guards in the game or anything like that. But I do think he's going to be pretty good. I mean, he's got a good release, as we can see already. I forget what base he has, but I know it's a good base. And he's got Kevin Knox upper. Uh, but it is smooth. It's easy to green. It's definitely a very, very solid release. Super smooth. Super solidly quick. It's just a very, very solid release. He's got Pro 2 fade, which is a decent fade. It's not great, but it is pretty easy to green. It's, and it creates a decent bit of space. I mean, it's one of the better fades that's not normal in the game i'll say that for sure i wouldn't say it's nearly as good as a normal fade but it is still a very very solid fade obviously with the 90 driving dunk he's going to be a very good slasher as well and he's got that gold limitless range which really will help him to extend his range as a three-point shooter so he's a guy who can slash them at a very high level he's got acceptable movement he's going to be a knockdown shooter and he's a decent all-around defender as well uh, overall core mcgetty pretty complete pretty darn good card at the shooting guard position in terms of budget players shooting guards with really easy grinds things like that he's right up there at the with at the top of those free and budget shooting guards in the game so let's hop into a game and let's see what Corey Maggetti can do all right our opponent's got Gary Payton uh, I think that's Jared Allen and then who does he have as his third guy I can't even tell but good start to the possession or to the game getting it out to Corey Maggetti immediately Corey Maggetti chill relax he's not really a true number one ball handler so I'm not sure I should be using him in this role at least or trying to but it works we get to the rim of the first possession 90 driving dunk he's able to throw it down that's a very solid start for sure he's gonna be a solid slasher his sigs aren't great but they're not horrible um, he's gonna obviously be a very good slasher as well as a guy who I feel like can compete in the defensive end and has a really really nice jumper so i think Corey mcgetty while he's not a number one option the way that i'm going to try to use him in this gameplay is definitely going to be a very very solid card uh hit that pop to scotty pippen scotty pippen four three and i miss wide open with pippen that's that's an unacceptable miss i'll be completely honest not a shot i should really ever be missing i feel like stopping and popping though Corey mcgetty four three open and he's gonna miss are you kidding me that's on me again but like i gotta green that shot like plain and simple that's just gotta be a shot that i green um chill recover beautiful get back out there beautiful defense this is good d uh cut off that bait okay it was good defense until all of a sudden it wasn't and he got slid out of position somehow and just walked around but uh it is what it is Corey mcgetty chill yes sir relax he's not even guarding uh kg but kg's gonna pop out to the three-point line regardless this game confuses me Corey mcgetty four three Green light. There we go. 20% knocks it down. Easy knockdown jumper. He's got a fast release. Very, very solid release. Going to be a knockdown shooter for sure. And he's up to five points on the game. So definitely still a pretty darn solid start to the video. 
All right, Corey, you got to redeem yourself a little bit. Defensively, I am not super impressed so far. Um, let's play some more defense, though. We, if you can get me a couple stops, that'd be really nice. He's got seven points, two dunks, and a three ball. He's done a solid job offensively. I've also taken a couple questionable shots, which is the shots that he's missed. But then we're going to get beat baseline by Jared Allen. That's me being a little out of position. Uh, down four right now. Hit it up to uh, Corey Maggetti. Yes, sir. Attack that baseline. Walk back. Look at Corey Maggetti. Oh, my goodness. Killed him. Yes, sir. Good move, Corey. He gets a wide up in midi and he knocks that down. Easy green light. That's a heck of a move right there. That walk back definitely baited him into stepping up too far. Uh, but can we get a couple stops, Corey? You, he is not impressing me defensively. I got to say, I am not impressed by him defensively. He's not cutting anything off. He doesn't feel very bumpy. That's the problem with the card that I'm noticing for sure so far. As we get a load up and not able to get a wide up in three to go. Uh, catch, shoot, Corey Maggetti, 4-3. There we go. We get a good catch. It's going to be knocked down. Green and another lightly. 26%. That one's knocked down. You got to show me something on the defensive end of the court, though, Corey. You can't just be an offensive card. There we go. Getting bumpy on him. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Much better defense. Unfortunately, he's just going to get in my CPU switch, and he gets a mash anyway, which is annoying because... Again, a little bit out of your control at that point. He gets he gets a switch like that. There's not a lot I can do defensively. Um, he is obviously being matched up against a guy like Gary Payton as well as one of the best defensive cards in the game. But good move again. And we get the worst layup animation of all time. My animation luck this game has just not been it. Uh, good defense though, Corey. There we go. And we're going to get back to it again. Good block, Pippen. Yes, sir. We needed that block big time because we were we were definitely in a spot of trouble. Hit that corner though. Corey Maggetti, catch and shoot. 4-3. Green light again. He is a knockdown shooter. I will say that. If he can play some defense, he is going to be a very, very good shooting guard because his release is absolutely chick. Good defense again though. He's getting bumpy now. This is much, much better defense than he started off the game playing. Uh, watch that corner. Good defense. And that should be a steal as well. Throwing it up to Corey Maggetti. Corey Maggetti pushing the ball in transition. Walk back. Yep. A chill. Okay. Yes, sir. Stopping and popping again for three. Corey Maggetti. Green light again from three. He is knocked down. This card can shoot the heck out of the ball. And he also has sharp shooting takeover, which we're not quite going to be able to activate. But we're going to get close. And uh, let's get one more stop. Chill. Oh, I gave up the back door again. All right. We got to get a bucket here uh, to secure this game because definitely not the not the greatest start, but it is what it is. Uh, stopping. Popping. Beautiful. Beautiful. I got a green. We started this game off poorly. Let's see if we can finish it strong because we definitely have been on a run here these last couple possessions. Hit it to the corner though. Catch him. Shoot Scotty Pippen. He wasn't guarding him. And that is easily put in to give us the three point lead. 20 to 17. Let's finish strong. Uh, blitz that outside hand. Oh, that's almost a bump. He was real close to getting to that bump there. Uh, hit him. Uh, play some more defense. Yep. Don't recover. Chill. Chill. Corey. There we go. Good D. Yep. Recover. Beautiful. Cut off the baseline. Jump. That's. That's a good bailout pass. Did not see that pass coming. He does a good job throwing that there. And uh, let's see if we can secure the W right here. We got to score one more time. Um, and he probably knows exactly who the ball is going to, considering Corey has 18 of my 20 points. Uh, but we are still going to try to get inside. Mash him. Yes, sir. Corey, look at the mash. Able to get under the rim. Go up and lay it in to end the game. He's going to finish with 20 points on 8 of 13, 4 of 8 from 3. Rough start, but he got it going. Let's hop back to the main menu and let's view the card. All right, in conclusion, Corey Maggetti, really, really good release. Was not incredibly impressed with him defensively, but he definitely played better as the game went on, I felt like, on the defensive end of the court. I think that's probably just because his defensive stats are mainly in the 80s. Like, they're not incredible. He's just going to be a kind of an average defender, not going to be a truly elite defender. Hoff brick wall is nice, and he's got some good gold defensive badges as well, like challenger, clamps, pick dodger, things like that. So he's going to be an acceptable defender, but he's not going to be a ridiculously good defender. Um... But money release, really good slasher, does not move incredibly well. For a budget two, he's very, very good. I mean, he's a great free card. I don't think he's a truly elite two at this point in the year. Like, I'm not putting him on the level of guys like Julius Irving, Ron Artest, Kobe, uh, Ricky Davis. Guys like that at the two are definitely that next level good. But Corey Maggetti's definitely in like an A, a B or A or B tier budget shooting guard. Really, really solid for his or for the fact that he's free and only takes like an hour to grind. So very, very solid card for sure. Not to the elite, but I do think he is very solid. So hopefully y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.